Also, Drew is live outside our studio on the square for ODOT's Work Safety Zone event. Oh, he's setting up a detour. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, you want to get people toward the square. You don't want to detour them around the square. We're going to check in with him and the crew when we come back. It's 511. You're watching News Channel 8 at sunrise, where the news comes first. It's almost summer driving season, right? Wow. Gearing up for that. And that's why Drew Carney is out and about on the square this morning. He has an important message for us. Drew, what's happening? Well, I know you guys know it's May. That much, Russ and Brenda, I'm sure you know. But did you know that May is also Transportation Safety Month in the state of Oregon? In honor of the occasion of throwing a big event out here, outside our studio on the square, we'll talk with ODOT about their work zone safety event happening today at the square. We'll do it next on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. It's 523, as Drew just mentioned a few minutes ago, May is Transportation Safety Awareness Month. And this morning, he is live on the square where a memorial is being set up to remind folks to drive safely. Drew, this is important stuff. Absolutely, guys, and it is happening right outside our front doors, outside the studio on the square. The Oregon Department of Transportation kicking off Transportation Safety Month here in the state of Oregon. They're having a work zone safety event that takes place at the square. 10 o'clock this morning is the kickoff time for this event. And again, the public is invited to come out and take part in this event. Uh, an educational opportunity. Of course, this is going to be the busy travel season that we're just getting into right now. With that in mind, I bring in Sally Ridenauer with the Oregon Department of Transportation. Uh, Brenda mentioned it a moment ago, the workers here behind us laying out a uh, very specific number, 81 cones out here on the square. Can you tell me, Sally, what these 81 cones represent? Sure. Normally, these cones represent a work zone on a highway, but today they're taking on a more significant meeting. They uh, mean 81 people who've lost their lives in work zone related crashes in Oregon in the last 10 years. We're going to remember those, but we also want to prevent further injuries. And so this event today can also be a helpful one for our viewers, for our riders in the area. They're going to teach me a thing or two about safety this morning. We've got plenty of equipment out there and we've got plenty of Oregon Department of Transportation workers to give me the safety training. I'm definitely dressed for the part. I feel very safe this morning. You, you look safe. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't fall down even if I tried. So safe this morning, Russ and Brenda, but we'll have more with this event coming up in about 15 minutes time. For now though, we send it back to you inside the warmth of the Studio yeah, One Square. Don't jinx it, be careful. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. A lot of orange on the square this morning here at 530. Drew Carney will tell us more about that uh, coming up here in a few minutes. It is 542 this morning. Drew is live on the square telling us all about the dangers of working in a construction zone. Well, you know, guys, uh, the month of May, some of us, including our friend Michael Convery, know this month as National Barbecue Month. But those at the Oregon Department of Transportation recognize May as National Transportation Safety Awareness Month. That's what we're talking about this morning on The Square. Great work zone safety event happening right here. Details and a preview next on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. I'm going this way. It's 546 and Drew Carney is outside on the square talking about work zone safety this morning. He is talking with the experts about how drivers can keep themselves and the workers safe this year as they get out on the roads this yes. summer, Drew. We're doing so today, guys, because May is officially Transportation Safety Awareness Month in the state of Oregon. Right outside our studios, I mean, right out our front door later this morning, there's going to be a work zone safety event thrown by the Oregon Department of Transportation. You can see the cones have already been laid out here this morning. And with that in mind, they also bring in another ODOT worker. We have Sabina Shepard with us here this morning. We talked about the significance of these cones, 81 cones on the square this morning. They represent 81 lives that have been lost on the roadways since 1999, so in the last 10 years alone. Sabina, I know you had a, a pretty scary incident just earlier this year, I think it was back in January. You were in the rig or a rig that looks just like the one behind us. You call this a crash truck. I would think you're pretty safe in the crash truck, you the worker, but uh, it's still got a little hairy. Can you take me back to that January day and what happened exactly? Absolutely. Um, we're on I-5 cleaning the road. I was in this crash truck and um, vehicle behind me didn't notice the arrows and the lights on and crashed into this attenuator at 55 miles an hour. Lights are on. Yes. Arrows telling drivers, you no, know, go that way. Right, Get sunny into the day. next lane. So how does he asleep at the wheel? How does this happen? Do you know the situation? Not paying attention. And then, so what was the result of that? I mean, the driver, you, you told me, actually wasn't that hurt after all. Exactly, because that's what these are uh, designed to do. They're designed to take up 
the uh, impact. Okay. So the, the, the airbags on his vehicle did go off and he was able to walk away from that. Um, ambulance did come, but I'm sure he just uh, probably got whiplash. Attenuator. I, yep. I've never heard of an attenuator Attenuator, before. yes, that's what that is. Can I move the attenuator this morning? Absolutely. Can I hop up into the Absolutely. truck? Absolutely. And again, you guys call this a crash truck. Doesn't seem like a very technical term, but that's well, what you're... A, it's a five-yard dump truck with a crash attenuator attached. So okay. The crash truck. Let me start with the seatbelt, of course, going on, and then I'm going to try to see if I can at least start it up this morning. <laughs> And if this button down here says what it's supposed to do is right, uh, I think I can move the attenuator this morning. Russ and Brenda. <laughs> Attenuators, camera Steve, going up. Russ and Brenda coming back in to you. Again, the ODOT work zone safety event. Is that going up, Sabina? Oh, good. I'm doing a good job. Work zone safety event and memorial. Today, out of the square, 10 o'clock start time. The public invited to come down and learn a little bit about roadway safety on this Oregon Safety Transportation Month. Back to you guys on the inside. Do you see the disconnect here? They're talking about safety this morning, yet they're, they're letting, letting Drew him, I know. operate the equipment. I don't know. I keep looking over my shoulder to make sure <laughs> nothing is approaching the window. All is clear. You're watching News Channel 8 at sunrise, where the news comes first. Drier weather for the Mother's Day weekend. So, you don't believe me? Believe ODOT in their sign. Chance of rain, it's in the forecast and it'll be arriving soon. Let's check traffic right now with Michael Conbury. Hey, Drew Carney's driving home an important message this morning. He's live right outside our studio on the square. Drew? That's right, guys. We have some company this morning on the square. The Oregon Department of Transportation getting ready for a work zone safety event happening today. Right outside our studio on the square, we're going to preview it for our viewers starting, oh, in about two minutes. After this, on News Channel 8 at Sunrise, don't change the channel. Benesticata. And take a look at our forecast today, courtesy of our friends up at ODOT. You can see we have it put up in big lights. Chance of rain in the forecast by midday today. I could just flood the entire ODOT sign network with this today, and pretty much it'll be the case across the region. Seven day forecast. And Drew is learning all about work zone safety this morning. He's live on the square, hanging out with some of the folks from ODOT. That's right, guys. ODOT is putting on a work zone safety event here at the square later this morning. We're getting ready, and coming up next, Rush and Brenda, I'm actually going to quiz the two of you on work zone safety signs. Just how well. Are the two of you familiar with what you were supposed to be doing on the roads come construction time? We'll find out from the two of you right after this on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. Sneak peek at the quiz. It is 626 this morning. A lot of construction underway on Oregon's roads this year. So transportation officials want to get the word out about work zone safety. And Drew is live on the square today with some helpful advice about driving safely. Drew. Yeah, pretty busy out here on the square this morning, guys. Uh, ODOT is getting ready for a work zone safety event here at Pioneer Courthouse Square, an event that the public is invited to come down and take part in. It starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Part of, the, uh, part of the event actually involves these 81 cones that have been laid out here on the square. They represent 81 worker deaths in the last 10 years on Oregon roadways. So we don't want that number to increase. If we hold this event again here next year, we want it to remain right where it is. The idea there then is education. We're gonna educate the public today, again, starting at 10 a.m. with an ODOT work safety event. Troy Rolf works the roadways out here. He's an ODOT worker. He joins me on the square this morning. Part of the education is to make sure that the people out there driving on the roadways, Troy, know what the roadway signs mean exactly. So Russ and Brenda, if you're not too busy inside the studio on the square, can I test your roadway sign knowledge this morning? Absolutely. Sure. Uh, ladies first, Brenda, I'll start with you. Can you tell me, miss, what this sign is saying to you? Yes, if I'm driving in that direction, I am merging right. Brenda says it means to merge right. Is she correct, Troy? It would be merge right. Okay. It's proper terms, transition. We're one for one so far. Russ, don't screw this up. Okay. Uh, what does this <laughs> sign mean, my friend? Uh, that would be uh, merge left. Are you sure? Russ thinks. He's I pretty love confident. love going second. <laughs> it means merge left. Correct. You are correct, Russ. And then I left the most difficult one for our friend Dave. I don't even know if he's available right uh -oh. now. David? Can, <laughs> Can you tell me what this sign means, Dave Seleski? That means the shoulder is closed, Drew. You are absolutely on the money. I don't know how you pulled it off so easily there, David, but uh, in all seriousness, we're talking about a serious event this morning, 10 a.m. Check out 
ODOT's work zone safety event, and we want to remember those who lost their lives while working on the highways. We'll have more in about 15 minutes, guys. News, weather, and traffic, of course, next. This is News Channel 8 at Sunrise. It is 641. Believe it or not, summer is just around the corner, and Drew wants to get all you drivers up to speed on safety. ODOT's going to do it this morning right here at the square, Russ and Brenda. They're holding a work zone safety event coming up later this morning. Right now, we're previewing the event, and they're going to give you a workout starting next. Working cones. You know how heavy these things are? Guys, they're very heavy. We'll have a little lesson in cone work coming up right after this on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. Shoulder work. It is 646. We are out here on the bricks of Pioneer Square this morning, kind of learning the ins and outs of work zone safety. Yes, May is the month that ODOT highlights that, and Drew Carney is with us to oh, tell us there. more. There you are. <laughs> we are over here this morning. Of course, the square is going to be pretty busy today between now and the start of our new news because the Oregon Department of Transportation is holding a work zone safety event. We met Troy Rolf uh, about 20 minutes ago. Troy, we're going to do a, uh, a cone demonstration here in a moment, uh, but I want to remind our viewers what's happening here beginning at 10 a.m., a work zone safety event, part educational, of course, to educate local motorists about highway safety, uh, part memorial. We're going to remember 81 lives that have been lost in work zones throughout Oregon in the last 10 years. And I stand corrected. I believe 20 minutes ago I said these represented 81 workers. Actually, uh, there are more drivers represented by these 81 cones than there are workers. So uh, it's as much a risk for drivers out there as it is for the workers in the work zones. The big key here, pay attention. If you see orange, Wake up, get alert, and pay attention on the roadways. Troy, very physically demanding job you have as yep. well. Uh, we're talking cones, and I was picking up about eight of them earlier. We like that number here, the number eight. Uh, how many cones would you typically deal with if you were out there, if you had to pop cones out on the roadways and say in an emergency situation, how many of these are you dealing with at one time? Thirteen. Thirteen cones. Thirteen. Can we stick to eight here, sir, we if you don't mind? Eight. Because uh, yeah. let's get back here. Show me the proper technique. You pop off the truck. you got to lay the cones down. You want to set off the safe area. How do we do Grab this? Grab them, throw them over your shoulder. <laughs> now, you made it look rather easy. Sorry. I imagine there's a huge bicep bulge underneath that orange shirt. So here we go. Grab him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now when your neck uh, makes this weird cracking sound, <laughs> do you get concerned about that or do you keep working? You got to keep working. You got to okay. close the lane. Let's, uh, maybe we'll head down there. There's a, uh, oh, this way. Okay, Steve's directing the traffic now. Let's put him out in our furthest distance and show me how to properly set these cones out here this morning, Troy. All right. Do we, would you normally run with these? Uh, if you need to in a hurry, you need to. You're not even breathing heavy, sir. <laughs> okay. We have to go this far down? We still yep. got to go all the way back up there. Okay. All right. Okay, Plus. I've lost two cones. All right. Well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put there. I'll have to come back and get mine. Uh, is there a, a certain distance between cones that you're looking for, Troy? Well, when you're uh, laying it out on the road, you need to put it probably every skip if you got to close the lane real quick. But, you know, here we don't have any skip lines, so we're just going to space it out evenly. Hey, you know what I'm noticing? Three are a lot easier to handle than two. Maybe you should go with three instead of 13. Troy Rolf, good work out of you today. And a reminder of viewers. We can walk back over here. The work zone safety event and memorial happening at 10 a.m. down here at Pioneer Courthouse Square. We're out of time for now and out of breath as well. So I send it back to... I don't, we're not going inside. Everyone's outside. We're, am I sending it back to you? you? We wanted to watch you. Normally you're eating or getting a manicure or something, so it's fun to see you work yeah. for a change. That is funny. See, well, we put Drew to work for ODOT, and then ODOT is working for you. Yeah. I, I mean, love you, the sign. You notice the sign back here? This is it. Chats of rain in the <laughs> forecast, everybody. Uh, and I'm going to explain to you why we have that chance of rain in the forecast coming up right now. We'll go from this uh, ODOT reader board sign, take you out to our Skycam right now. It's Michael Convert. Yes, sir. With a cone. What's the problem, Drew? You know, no big deal. Just put it down. Twelve others besides that one. <laughs> okay. Could be conehead traffic. We gotta get to traffic here. All right. For right now at 6:51 on your Monday morning, you're watching News Channel 8 at sunrise, where the news comes first. It feels warm right now. How heavy are these? <laughs> these Russ and Brenda. Oh, back you, you, you okay, maybe, Drew? Maybe, you're, maybe your fine suit would like to find out. <laughs> I'll try it. Oh, yeah, those? That's no problem. I mean, those are not white. Here, Brenda, can you see this? Let me try it. Don't hurt yourselves now. Oh, that, 
Come on, Dave. Oh, and that's not a problem. Go, go, put, go oh, put those on. Try that again, will you? Boys, boys, boys. I'm Jeez. done with them. Girls. Today's show, I can bench press <laughs> these things. We'll expect a lot of road construction this summer. Coin Local 6 traffic reporter Carly Canelli is live in Southeast Portland. And Carly, ODOT says it's important to know what to do in work zones because they will be hard to avoid. Yes, ODOT will have 20 construction projects going on this summer in the Portland metro area alone. That's quite a bit compared to the five last year. Some of them are already underway, such as the work being done here on the MLK viaduct. Remember to think safety first when approaching a work zone. Today, ODOT set out 81 orange cones at Pioneer Courthouse Square to represent the number of people killed in work zone crashes over the last decade. Most of the victims are drivers or vehicle passengers. What's extremely important to me, and safety is the number one priority at the Oregon Department of Transportation. I'll tell you, it's the number one priority of the construction industry, the trucking industry, and law enforcement. The bottom line is we want our people to get to work safely and go home to their family and friends at night in the most safe manner they can. Coming up tonight on Coin Local 6 at 5.30, you won't want to miss the story of an ODOT worker who survived a close call on the road. She'll explain what went on just before impact. ODOT says an average of 465 work zone crashes occur each year. So that's why it's so important that when you see the orange cones, you need to slow down and pay attention. Now, as the sign says behind me, fines are doubled in work zones if you get caught. And if a police officer gives you a violation, the cheapest ticket you'll get away with is $194. Live in Southeast Portland, I'm Carly Canelli, Coin Local 6. Thank you, Carly. ODOT wants to remind drivers to be careful around work zones this spring and summer. The agency lined up 81 orange construction cones in Pioneer Courthouse Square this morning in honor of the people who have been killed in work zones over the last 10 years. There are more than 400 work zone crashes each year, and this year there will be a record number of projects on Oregon's roads and bridges. When you enter a work zone, slow down. Be attentive to the uh, to the chore of driving to make sure you get through that safely. Garrett says there will be more than 200 active work zones across the state this construction season, so be careful when you see orange.